Welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And coming out of halftime, we held a 21 to 6 lead. Scored right before halftime, but gave up three points, and they they got their little three funky three points right before halftime. But we got the ball back, and in my mind, I was thinking, we need to have this killer instinct and put these guys away. And that first drive of the second half gave me the notion that we have finally gotten a killer instinct. For a time, I thought we had it. And let's see what happened <laughs> coming out of halftime to make me think we had finally got that killer instinct inside of us. What happened after that? Not going to talk about that right now. But let's look at that first drive coming out of halftime and the adjustments that were made to put us up 21 to 8. 20, I'm sorry, 28 to 6. <laughs> All right, welcome back, and let's get into um, what I thought was the beginning of a killer instinct for the Baltimore Ravens coming out of the second half versus the Dallas Cowboys. Let's dive right into it. Hit that like button if you have not done so, and uh, subscribe if you've not done so as well, and hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop throughout the 2024 season. First play coming out. Got a little inside zone. Well, zone read, rather. Lamar decides to pull it. And the reason he pulls it is D-Law. D-Law is the read. Read guy right here. And because he, you know, crashes so hard, you, you just pull it and go. And now you got Isaiah likely trying to block that guy right there. And there it is. And you just get what you can get on the edge. You would, you really would have loved for Mark, I think this Mark, to be on this side of Diggs. But Diggs did a good, did a good job of keeping his outside free. And either Lamar has a run out of bounds or forced Lamar to turn up. And turn. Up. that's where his help is. So it was either out of, bound, out of bounds or turn back into uh, defenders. And you can see Lamar did a good job with the read. Because D-Law just crashes down hard. Pulls it out. Now it's just a foot race. You get about eight yards on that. Second and four. We got six yards on that. Back in that 20, 22 personnel. I'm going to let inside zone with the uh, ISO. Isolating Kendricks on, on record. At, at this point, <clears throat> Dallas is just not really caring about the boot. Watch 28 come down that line. Watch how hard he come down the line. They ain't really giving a, a you-know-what about the boot because his shoulders are already that way. And Lamar, ain't even, Lamar still has the ball. So they ain't giving a rat spatuli about the boot. Not not at all. So that's when, you know, and, and Munkin's upstairs, so he got to see that and be like, you know, something got to be called to just make him be honest. Because that dude's making the tackle. Early in the game, too, they start kind of not caring about the boot, too. Like, you see that? He got to keep this thing at one time to keep him honest. He keeps that thing, and it's one-on-one -on -one with him and, and um, Trayvon Diggs. I like A.R. versus Diggs. I like eight odds versus Diggs. I do. Yeah, he just they coming down too hard on that backside. Third and one. Mmm. 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 We saw this run earlier. Saw this run yesterday. I put it out there. Running some some uh, duo. Shadow realm. Get this uh, view. We didn't have this view yesterday. Good job up front. Shadow Realm.
It's got a first down, though. First and 10 from 33. Has that big run. We kind of spread him back out. We record as a tight end. So we did a fake, fake screen because it's two by two. So I'm glad we faked that. We'll let, is this some pin and pull action after the fake? Or is that counter? Hmm. It could be either one, it, but from this view, it looks like counter. Justice here did a good job, good job of uh, being a bat, finding daylight. And again, I don't mind Justice here getting carries because he he he's fairly decent, especially outside the tackles. This is a good inside run though. It's a good inside run. So you got the kick out by oh shoot. Come on, Falele. Get on this inside shoulder and kick him on out. Get on this inside shoulder and kick him out. Let him cross face. And that's been that's been the theme for Falele through preseason and through these first couple of games, allowing people to cross face and, not, and giving up leverage. Now, that's just a good job of Justice Hill just making a miss because this is a terrible, this is a bad kick out. It's a bad block by 77. Just a good job of Justice Hill of, of avoiding it. Ricard gets on his guy. Look at Ricard dominating 50. Justice Hill just did a good job of avoiding the, the missed block by of 77. The thing is, you once you get that leverage, you can't let them guys cross your face. Because when they cross your face, they get right back into the play. Watch. Because this you see the gap right here. This is the gap. Now, when Falele allows this guy to cross his face, that puts him right back in the gap. See that? Now he's in the play. If you just keep him on the other side, everything's all good. Everything's all good if you just kept him on that side. So everything ain't all good because he had a couple good plays now. Don't 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 let it fool you because we ran for so many yardage. Don't let it fool you. Like now, that's a good play. He watched the dude down on that one. That's a good play. So what kind of what run concept is this? Split zone. Split zone. Now, I think this would have been good either way. Because we got a good wall there. So even if he gives the justice here, you got that. But you also got likely coming out with a with a lead blocker. Bam. This must have been a play talking about. Michael, Michael actually closed on Lamar. That's crazy. Damn. You don't see that very often, people. Mm, Lamar normally run away from them cats. He ain't run away from 11. But we got good yardage, though. Good vision, 22. Good vision, 22. And there was a good block on the backside by Falele, too. They moved 58. But they were able to move 58 all game now that I'm watching all of the plays. 58 was being moved all game. That's Mozzie Smith from Michigan. He was being moved all game. And he got moved right there, too. And then Diggs don't want to tackle. 21 just trying to get the ball out. You just got to get 22 on, on second level, and we good. Get 22 on second level, and we good. Yeah, 58 was getting moved all game. The more and more I watch, the more and more I see 58 was getting moved all game. All right, that's all the scoring. That's all the scoring for the rest of the game. So we came out after halftime, and... Like I said, what I thought was going to be the killer instinct, you know, on that drive and the rest of it went to. So I'm going to keep on looking and see what happened the rest of the game. But again, I thought we had the killer instinct after that drive and 
you saw the final score. That's all I'm going to say. I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. So like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next one, man. Coach Evans out. Peace.